Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I want to ask you a question. When was the last time you said, I'm sorry, I was wrong, that was my fault, I mishandled that, I made a mess of things, please forgive me. If you have a difficulty saying those words, you need to ask God to purge you of pride, narcissism, self-centeredness. Okay, now the reason I say that is because with humility and transparency and honesty, you know, Jesus said, you shall know the truth the truth, the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Well, if you're not willing to face the truth about yourself, you will never be free. Okay, if you have a difficulty doing that, you need to ask God to give you more of a humble spirit. You need to ask God to help you see yourself the way he sees you, the way other people see you. Because it, as long as you cannot face your fallacies, you will not be able to grow. I don't care if you preach, sing, own businesses, if you're a CEO or if you have a master's, a doctorate, if you're an attorney or a judge. I don't care if you're a president or a janitor. I don't care what you are. If you are not able to take responsibility, if you're not able to look yourself straight in the eye and say, I was wrong, and know it and mean it, you will have a very difficult time making it through life, through relationships. Why? Because in relationships, if you're not willing to own up to your part, the part you play in the problem, you will always have rocky relationships. See, people who can't accept the fact that they mishandled something, end up causing other people to feel guilty for something they didn't even do. Now, I've already warned people about you. So if the shoe fits, ask God to change your shoe size. You need a change. All of us do. And anytime you find yourself finding it so difficult, so so appalling, so re re repulsive to say, I was wrong. Oh my goodness. Guess what? You are in trouble. You're in a very dangerous place. And see, the people who are humble, God can raise them up easily because they're not weighed down by pride, narcissism, and all the other things. No, they're not trying to put on a front. They want to be as real and transparent as can be. So they operate in truth, even when they're dealing with self. But those that don't, mm, the fall is much harder. The lessons are much more painful. Be careful with that. Because if God can't crack your nut, he'll break you down. And you got to be willing to hear correction. You've got to be easily entreated. You've got to be reasonable. You've got to be able to see another person's standpoint without thinking they're stupid if they don't agree with you. Okay, I'm not going to keep going on that because I'm not trying to pick on you. Just want to say this. Go to God and ask him, to rearrange your thinking and your attitude before you fall into the hands of an angry God who has to crack your skull because you won't even allow him to crack your nut, crack your shell. Don't be hard-hearted.
Don't be haughty. Pride cometh before a fall, and a haughty heart before destruction. You don't want that. Trust me, because God will do it to you if you're not willing to handle it yourself and face up to your fallacies.